Okay, right, first things first, welcome. This is the first video of this new filed series that I'm doing. Road to Glory, try and get them up to the Premier League, probably try and win Champions League. Hopefully, this will be running until the end of FM19, maybe. Maybe a bit of a little bit less, we'll do something at the end. I've got something else planned up as well. I'll probably try to get that going uh, alongside this. We'll probably do one of these a day. Now, you might realise, if you look at the date in my emails and stuff like that, that we're in, we're in October. Now, this is my fault. I, 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 it's my fault. I didn't record the first first uh, the first the first games now a lot of you a lot of you might think that's a, a bit of a problem I don't think it's that much of a problem so I can, I can run you through it anyway we are, I don't think we've played too many big games a lot of you might know filed in the Van Alma National League I'll take you over to that we are currently third now I'm gonna do one live com today just to just to kick things off, don't want to make it too long. I've got to run you through the team and transfers and the matches that have gone on so far. So we'll do our next game as a live con, which is against Chesterfield away at the Pro At. So Chesterfield are in first as well, so that'll be a big game. That's why we're doing that one. So here's our games. We started off all right, went away to Avent Waterloo. Now we'll we'll quickly forget about this game because we don't want to know about that. We don't want to know, right? Forget that one. That one didn't happen. Away from home at Sutton, absolutely battered them. We get beat one nil. You know, got FM'd as usual. Danny Ray missed a pen. Couldn't get any worse. Now easily turned us over. Went one nil up after ten minutes from a Danny Ray uh, goal. Turned us over. Now. We were quite poor in that game, but as you can see, these are all away games that we're using, so we just need to improve away, really. We've won every home game, we've had one draw away at Halifax, now we're a better team in that as well. We've had a good win at away at, not away, at home to Braintree, but Braintree are near the bottom anyway, so don't expect to have too much problems against them. Now, we did have a 4-0 uh, win here against Salford, which is a very good result. 3-0 away win at Wrexham which is a good result and then yeah we've got Chesterfield away next so hopefully we can get a result I'll take a draw away at Chesterfield no problem and then uh, and we'll probably next episode probably come back for this Orient and we'll probably do two games and do Dagenham or Bridge away now we'll go through the transfers quickly I haven't spent any money so it's not a huge chunk now up until here, this is where I've took over now. I've brought in Barrel Labula from Birmingham on alone. I've had him in a previous saver. And he was really good. He's not been too good so far. One goal in eleven games with one assist, six point eight six average. He's been alright, he's mostly been coming off the bench, so he's he's been alright. We've got Tom Williams in on number three. Just a backup left back. I, we only had one left back when when I got here, so he's just there. He's on no contract anyway, so we're not paying him too much money. Jacob Fletcher, he's a just a reserve. He's got a bit of potential. Probably won't play for us to be honest. Now we've got a seam Ben Chemis. He is a star. He's very he's very good. He's, and he's only 22. He's got potential. He'll probably come up to Lita with us if we go up this season. We've got Ronaldo Brown, who's currently, if you look quickly, Ronaldo Brown's currently on loan at Warrington, but we did bring him in. Uh, he's got potential. There you go, potential to be League 2. Now we've got Stefan Broccoli, he's currently in the reserves. He's got potential. And then we've got Louis Gamfam, who's uh, currently in the reserves as well. So that's the transfers, not too many, didn't really need that much. So have a look at the tactic very quickly. Now it's a uh, very, very high pressing tactic I use in pretty much all my saves. Uh, it's a 4-2-3-1. Attack the ball as quick as you can, as soon as you lose it, just attack the ball straight away, get the ball back, hit them on the brakes. Now that's 
leaves us suspect. suspect uh, yeah, that word. Good one. That yeah, that that explains these two goals there, and you know the two goals there, two goals here. It's it's going to leave leave us open at the back sometimes. We are going to concede a few goals, but it is very very effective as you can tell, especially at home. That's what I've noticed. It is very effective at home, and we probably need to make up a new tactic for away games. Uh, there's the full table. You've got Dagenham Red down here, you've got Sutton down here as well. I know Leighton weren't doing too well, but they're up in six now. So we've won 10, drawn 1, lost 3. Leaves us 2 points behind Chesterfield. A win today, well not today, but against them can make us go top. Depending on the Eastley result now. Quick look at Danny Rowe. Now, he is good enough to be League One. Rochdale are currently looking at him. If you look here, Rochdale. Now, I'm not going to let him go. I've just triggered a contract extension on him because he's a class player. He's currently scored 16 and 14, and he's just. He fits the tactic easily. He's always scoring goals. There's nothing with this tactic. Is it, you do get a lot of goals. There's the full squad. Now. That should be everything I need to show you as you want to look at the dynamics that are here. You know, no, no one opposes me or anything. So, that should be everything. So, don't want to, like I said, I don't want to make this episode too long. Just a quick, quick overlook of what's gone on. Like I said, it's my bad that we've missed a couple months out, but it's not too bad. Come back for a good game anyway, away at Chesterfield. So, there's the quick overlook, we'll get straight into the game. Okay, so here we've got the lineups. If you look at Chesterfield, they've got a couple of players I know. We've got Louis Dodds there, Alex Kawamia. That's about it, really. They're playing a very, very well known formation on this uh, football manager for how well how well it does you know the 41221 I think it is or is it just classes as a 433 three? something like that now we already know our tactic we've got it's the same team basically before I left, uh, before we went into the game same team same bench now I'll just get straight into the dressing room tell the team Yeah, that'll do. Some motivate, some greens. Get, get off to kick off. So, like I said, if we win today, we can go top. But we've got to look out for that uh, that Eastley result. And they're currently away at Braintree, and as you saw, we beat Braintree five 0 So they shouldn't have too many problems beating Braintree. They could have an early goal there. Got Dodds out on the way, uh, on the wing, into Kwamya. Carter will get it. McKay, Kwamya, away. There you go. Deals with the danger. So we're on extended highlights, so we should get some decent highlights. Oh, Orient are losing. That's a good good result for us. Keeps them off our backs. Oh, I wasn't even looking, and Danny Rose ba banged one in. That's his 17th goal of the season already, and it's only the 15th game of the season. Bear in mind, we haven't played any cup games at all so every goal he scored has been in the league so it's 17 and 15 now and we're one nil up away at Chesterfield with seven minutes gone currently top of the league now I do want to go up as champions I don't want to go through the playoffs because it is a lottery so I don't want to test the luck there hopefully we can go up as champions and maybe bring a couple of players in next season and probably make a playoff push again 
because I think this team is already set for it's already a good set team, especially with Row leading the line. He, he he'll probably get about 20 in the, in League Two. He is a League One standard player. Salford, uh, Salford winning. Now there, it, there is a couple of players in on loan already. When I got here, like, I've just seen who that centre back you just seen. He is on loan from Norwich. Now the National League season has just finished in real life. Fylde got beat in the uh, playoff final against Salford three 0 which is a bit hard to take. But the day the day after the recording this, they have just beat Leighton Orient in the FA Trophy final, so at least they get some silverware. Alright, I don't know how that's gone in. But it has. And we find ourselves 2 0 up away at file. Uh, not filed. We are filed. Well done. Uh, 2 0 up away at Chesterfield. In a game I was expecting to be tough. So far, we've ruled it. Rose put Burke through. That should have been 3. Orient have turned that game around, so they're winning. But yeah, I'm. Um, at the moment, our the teams contending the title with us are Eastley and Chesterfield. We lost to Eastley and we're beating Chesterfield, so it's evening out. We have double our goal difference as well. Like I said, we are scoring a lot of goals. This thing about this tactic is you do score a lot of goals, but you do concede quite a lot. Well, there's Chesterfield first. Hopefully, they won't get back into it. That guy looks bold. He's not. He's got bond there. I'll be on there. Yeah. I've got, um. Another thing. I've got all the leagues in England loaded down to. I think it's level ten. So we've got like teams like Nantwich Town and Warrington, as you've seen. And they're like. Uh. Let's see. Is it like? If you've heard of like hashtag United off YouTube, there on it. There's there's loads. Obviously, it depends where you're from. You might not know your local side, like my local sides, it, from where you are. Danny Phil's coach just made it three one as I'm uh, chatting away. Oh, that's an alarm. Let's turn that off. have a quick look at the other results maybe not I thought it was Mark now you're balling so yeah the uh, the reason I know Louis Dodds and Alex Kawamu is in real life I'm a crew fan now Louis Dodds played for Vale, which is one of our rivals, so I, I don't like Louis Dodds. But Kwame was at loan at Crew one season from Doncaster and he got injured. And he was, he was playing alright before he got injured, and then what, after his injury, he never really, never really got back into the side and then went to Doncaster. And now I'm pretty sure he is. He is in the National League. I don't know if he's at Chesterfield. I'm guessing he'd be at Chesterfield. In real life, I don't know if he's on loan now. I'm pretty sure he got released. So yeah, um, it's time not to get complacent. Of course, there has to be one red. Oh, and now he's confused. Well done. Just tell them don't get complacent and hold on to this 3-1 win, this massive result, especially in the, the way of winning the league. Like I said, I, I, I don't want to be in those playoffs. You, just, you don't want to be in them because I could... If we finish second or third, say we finish second, and the team is seventh win their first quarter-final game, they'll come through and play us. And then we could lose to seventh, and then seventh could go on and win the playoffs. And it's like seventh have just they came seventh in the league, and somehow they're going up to the 
the league above. It's weird how the playoffs work in the in the conference, but I'm gonna make a couple of substitutions here. We'll bring I'm not even gonna pronounce try and pronounce that. His name. Taz Demir. Yeah, there you go. Bringing him on. We'll bring Nick is it Nick Horton? Yeah, Nick Horton. Nick Horton on in the middle. Doesn't it? We'll change him to an advanced playmaker. And we'll bring Hardy off. We'll let him have a rest. Bring Ashley Hemmings on. He's, I don't think he's scored yet. Dreadful. Carry on. We're not too long. Not too long left to go. Three substitutions. I always do three substitutions in one. Also, if this is your first time here, uh leave a like comment what if you want to see more what what things I've missed that you want to check out you know like other teams see where your team is a player you might want to look at just let me know in the comments and I'll have a quick look at them and put them in the next video subscribe if you're new it's always appreciated I'm currently on 64 subscribers now I think because this was a channel I had a couple of years ago but I've basically rebranded it as an FM channel now <sighs> also let me know what other games you'd like to see maybe a bit of CSGO and I, I do have a Twitch as well if you want to go over there pretty sure my Twitch username is I'm the MVP28 which is a, my old PS4 name I still need to change that but I'll change that next time I stream if you want to come over and stream I'll probably start streaming some FM as well get a different save going on there we'll start streaming a little bit as well right this is the third time now I've recorded this outro so hopefully it works we did win the game against Filed 3-1 Eastley did win 1-0 so we are in second hopefully this one works I'd just like to thank you all for watching please subscribe every subscription helps please like every like helps and comment whatever, what, uh, comment whatever good or bad I'd like to know also make sure you check out the next video hopefully we can get filed to the Premier League win the Premier League win the Champions League win it all with filed please return for the next video like subscribe and I'll see you then